As summer turns to autumn, progress slows at the Elbe Philharmonic construction site. Work is underway on the glass facade. High above the River Elbe, the construction workers must install 1,098 individually designed glass panels, each costing on average around 20,000 euros. But fitting them is proving a bit of a nightmare. Today we have to mount six elements. Uh, we have to mount it in the 26th floor. So um, today it's a little bit tricky because we have normal weather for Hamburg. <laughs> it's raining, it's very windy. This balcony unit weighs over a ton. Its large service area means the wind could easily blow it out of control. If the wind reaches 40 kilometers an hour, installing the glass becomes too dangerous and work must stop. Despite the wind, today the team is on target. We fixed six elements per day. What well, we have fixed now four elements. Today it's a situation now is good. In the same way the architects are striving to give their concert hall the perfect acoustic, they also seek perfection for the building's facade. Each panel is printed with a pattern of opaque dots for decoration and for temperature control. This is the residential part of the building where you can see these kind of cutouts in the glass. They're like these kind of uh, lodges where you can step outside, exterior spaces behind, so um, the residents themselves can uh, actually get an understanding of the environment in sense of smell, sound and so on. Each unit has its own unique design that contributes to the overall look that the architects wanted to achieve. It speaks about liquid, about reflections and so on. The building skin now is becoming so much more interesting. You know, it's like a water surface, but a water surface has a texture. We suddenly create this very alive skin. But the vast glass walls gave the architects an unusual problem. Normal glass could reflect ships' radar signals, creating the impression of ghost ships in the harbor. The main problem of building such a large and that's a dominant glass element or glass building in the harbour area, especially which ships are coming in and out all the time, is the fact that you have to avoid any ref satellite, uh, radar reflections from glass facade. It could lead a ship's crew to think their vessel was on a collision course with another ship. The solution was to make the glass visible to radar with reflective chrome microdots embedded in the pattern. These special um, chrome mirror dots on the glass have been placed in a way that um, radars from, from, the, from the big ships that actually enter the port of Hamburg won't have a kind of a, a doubling effect of their signals. 